This is one of those things you don't notice until you walk in Sudbury. You arrive at an intersection after the light has turned green and the don't walk signal is lit. Sometimes if you press the button, it will change to a walk signal, but not here at Regent and Telstar. The traffic light remained green for 40 seconds before turning amber and then red. So I pressed the button to request permission to cross. The walk signal means you may begin crossing. Seven seconds later, the flashing hand begins, meaning finish crossing, do not start crossing. Thirteen seconds after that, it switches to a solid hand, that means do not enter the roadway. And it stays like that, while the traffic light stays green for another 51 seconds. Why doesn't the walk signal stay lit longer? It's a mystery. According to recent staff reports, the pedestrian signals are timed based on an average person's walking speed and sometimes lengthened to account for the slower pace of older pedestrians. But what's the harm in giving people the right of way for the entire time the traffic light is green? Why should you have to press a button for a walk signal on a major roadway like Regent's anyway? To recap, the light turns green. Pedestrians have a total of 20 seconds during which they have the right of way. And then for 50 seconds after that, the light remains green, but pedestrians do not have the right of way, even if they press the button. It's an unsolved mystery of Sudbury traffic lights. <laughs>